Welcome to Sojourns. Let's journey into sewing. Hi, everybody. This is Chris, and welcome to Sojourns, where we take a sewing journey together. Today, we're in part three of my series, my five part series of my top five favorite PDF sewing patterns. I will link in the description box to part one and two so you can see the ones we've previously gone over. And they're in no particular order. They're just the patterns, the top five patterns that I find myself revisiting, sewing over and over again. And I'll take you through all of the options of each pattern and I'll show you any modifications, perhaps with the sewing tutorial. I invite you to like this video, to subscribe so that you don't miss anything in this series. Also, I would love to hear in your comments what else you'd like to see on this channel. I've done many serger tutorials, cover stitch and sewing tutorials, but I'm game if you're game. So leave me a comment of things maybe you'd like to go over or see me do. So today's part three is the Boho Breeze Romper and Dress by Winter Wear Patterns. I love this pattern. It's a romper. It's a knee length dress or it's a maxi dress. And I love maxi dresses. It's designed for knit fabrics for the bodice, but you can use a woven on the bottom. You can use a woven for the bottom skirt, like rayon, something beautiful with a lot of drape because it is a gathered skirt. So that will work really well with elastic at the waist. So you get this blue song effect, this really blousey, beautiful effect. Uh, it also is a romper. You can do shorts. There are optional pockets, inseam pockets for the dresses and slash pockets for the romper. Let's start with these samples. The pattern comes in sizes extra, extra small through 3X. So that's a large range of sizes, which is fantastic. And the sizing is very generous and very lovely and easy to fit. It is an off the shoulder style but don't worry if off the shoulder isn't your thing and you wanna make sure your bra straps are covered, there is an option, which I will show you, in the pattern for wide straps that easily cover your bra straps and you can place those where is best on your body for however you wear your lingerie. Also, this style can come up higher for a sort of peasant blouse on shoulder look. There is elastic inside of this band. It's not just the knit band, but it's elastic. Therefore, you can make that as small as you like. If you would like this to be more on shoulder, then you would just decrease the width of the elastic so that it stays up here on the shoulder and gives you that sort of wide boat neck peasant look. I like an off the shoulder. It's very good style for me. I gravitate to that a lot. Let's go through the options that I have for you today. The first one I wanna show you I'm wearing this is the maxi length dress off shoulder. I've used two different fabrics. The top, the solid blue is cotton lycra, which makes it really comfortable. This is a very heavy quality cotton lycra. So it's very comfortable. It's a dream to sew with and it has a great recovery. I also used it for the sleeves. For the top band and the skirt, I've used rayon spandex. So I have a contrasting band and skirt. So this is a really fun look that you can mix and match different fabrics. And they play together really well because this is a gathered skirt. So it, it just really works. The pattern comes with a short sleeve and a three quarter length sleeve. I chose the three quarter length sleeves, but you can see here that I've added this circle gathered cuff. So this is done as like a circle skirt might be, but it's wider than that. And I've gathered the cuff to sort of mimic the gathering of the skirt. I used a rolled hem to finish the edges. It works really well with cotton lycra, and I just love this look, really fun look. The skirt, as I mentioned, is rayon spandex. And you know, that can be a little bit of a bear to hem sometimes, it's kind of slippery. I like to use some hem tape to hold that hem so really nicely and then finish it with my cover stitch. Okay, so let's move on to the next maxi dress and gosh, I adore this one so much. All 
I almost wore this uh, to my son's wedding, but we ended up choosing something else in a different color scheme, but this was a, definitely a contender. This fabric is single brushed poly, which means that it feels amazingly soft on the outside, but the inside is sleek and smooth like an ITY or a rayon spandex. So it feels much cooler to the body. So I have no problem wearing this in the warm weather. And I have to always modify the sleeve for something really fun. For this sleeve, let's see if you can see this on camera. I made a bell style. It's a one piece sleeve but I drew it out with a curve and a bell style. It looks so pretty. Trace the sleeve pattern so it is a full pattern piece, not cut on the fold. Next, draw a line across, and then vertical lines evenly spread to the hem. Cut through the vertical lines up to, but not through the horizontal lines, and spread those pieces to create a bell shape. True the bottom and curve. Tape this down and trace. This is your new sleeve pattern. Fold in half and cut on the fold. That's a simple modification and it really makes a difference. Next, I'm gonna to move to the one on the right, far right. This is another maxi off the shoulder. This time, I did a very slight flare on this sleeve. And this is actually a flounce, which is basically a circle ruffle. And I'm gonna show you how to create a flounce. Fold your tracing paper so you have a double fold, top and side. Next, measure the sleeve bottom circumference and subtract one inch. Then divide by six. This is your inner circle measurement. Then decide how long you want your flounce. I chose five inches. Measure down and mark all the way from your inner circle to the other side. Add seam allowance to the inner circle. Cut along both semicircles. Open up your pattern and you now have your new pattern piece. Cut on one semicircle line that leads to the outer circle. Trace on your fashion fabric. You now have your flounce. Sew the two short ends together, and then sew to your sleeve. So the flounce matches up one to one with the seam, contrasting to the one I'm wearing. So this is much more subtle, and you can see here in the picture. I love this fabric. This fabric is from Minerva, and I love to play with the stripes. So I did the horizontal stripes here on the bodice, and then I turned the fabric, since it has four-way stretch, and used vertical stripes on the bottom and I just adore this dress. I do find myself reaching for it a lot. This is not only a maxi skirt, it also comes in just above the knee length, so any of these can be shortened to be above the knee. But it's also a romper. This is cotton lycra. I do love that this pattern works really well in cotton lycra. And as you can see, it's shorts. And here's the pockets in the side. They're so cute. Now this one I have styled as an on the shoulder peasant style, but you can do it off the shoulder or you can use those wide straps like I mentioned. And it's blousey and fun and cool for the summer. You'll find the link to this pattern in the description box down below. You'll also find the link to the first two parts that I've done with other patterns that I love. You now know how to do this bell sleeve, this gathered cuff, or a flounce sleeve. One of the reasons I pick these patterns is because they fit beautifully, the tutorials are done well so they're easy to follow, they have many options, and you can make them your own. They work with different fabrics, this one works with wovens and knits. If you use wovens on the bottom, that really expands your options with this pattern. It fits well, it never fails me. I wear it all the time, I get a lot of compliments. And with the options of a romper, a knee length skirt or a maxi skirt, really endless possibilities and changing the sleeves up. 
is simple. You could do the short sleeves or you can make your own modifications. So I hope you'll give this pattern a try and I hope that you'll visit me next week when we move on to part four. I have something a little different than the first three I've showed you. So I hope you come back and continue on the sewing journey. But please share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next week as we continue the sewing journey of my top five favorite sewing patterns. See you next time in the sewing room.